Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B1 Bomber. I was just hanging out in the shop today cleaning up after my layup last weekend and thought I'd make you guys a midweek episode and show you what I've got going on. Got all my parting planes off and uh, trimmed my edge. Trimmed it with a jigsaw. I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, then I took my sander and went around this edge. Anything that's finished I went ahead and sanded. Got my sharp edges off and anything that might poke you. And bolted together with my wing nuts. You have to do all your bolting before you take it off. And remember my furniture slides when that were on my parting plane. And then I transferred them to one piece and then it transferred them to another. So now I got a male and female uh, planes that will interlock everything and make my seams just come out perfect. And uh, about 12 gallon of resin on here. I sure hope all this comes off. But uh, you always got to kind of be aware to be able to get your parts out. I took this edge and I kind of backfilled it with clay a little bit so I wouldn't get no gobs of resin on there when I laid all this up. And then was real careful with my jigsaw and cut it right to that mark so they should just come off right in tandem. I got all my bolts on here and uh, once I get it all laid up I had someone ask me how I'm going to get my pieces out that if all of them are keyed together. What I'll do is I'll unbolt everything and start at the back and pop them loose in the front. Pop them loose and I can pop the center loose and kind of take it loose from the ends. But uh, that's how that's where we are and I got dad and a couple buddies coming over to help me flip this big old thing over she's getting kind of heavy and uh, we're gonna start working on the bottom but we're getting ready to pull some parts because you know as soon as I get this mold done we're gonna have to make up fuselage so I got me a vacuum system hooked up and ready my buddy Butch gave me this idea I went to Harbor Freight, got one of their vacuum pumps, 80 bucks. I've been looking around the tool stores around town, it was like three, 400 I couldn't believe it. But uh, Harbor Freight, $80. You know old dad, he just happened to have an old compressor tank hanging around. So what we do, uh, the reason we use that tank is so we can get a volume to suck down them big old parts. And also I can put a junction block on here and uh, do two or three parts at once so you don't have to turn it on and actually physically wait for that part to set up. And uh, just turn it on about 20 minutes before you want to start pulling parts and hook all your stuff up, your bag up, and uh, it'll just suck it right on down. And I can just leave that connection hooked up and take one of my other hoses, hook it up to another part, and do the same thing. And just leave it around to get everything laid up. And uh, give me a vacuum gauge on there. So we'll be set up and uh, good to go. But I sure like that idea. I think that's going to work out really good. I figure worst case scenario, if we don't pull enough vacuum, I can just go buy me another tank and uh, turn that sideways and hook two of them up. And uh, really get some vacuum, but I don't think I'll need to. But uh, this is Monday. And my part's cured. We're going to flip her over and I'm going to get on the bottom. I just wanted to show you guys. I know you've been going to want to see that mold before we get it flipped upside down. But uh, we are getting there. So, once I get it upside down and get ready for another part, I will make another movie. So, you know where we'll be until then. We'll be right here in the shop. So, that's where you can find us. You guys have a nice week, and we will see you in the shop.